Hi everyone, we're going to be taking a sketch today and showing you how to make a flat in Illustrator. So let's get started. What we're going to do is uh, take the sketch once we've scanned it in. I have this one right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and pop it into Illustrator. Now once it's open, we're going to uh, use the tools here over in the toolbar. And we're going to basically trace this, uh, one half of this, and copy it over and uh, move on to the next one because we have a whole line to do here so what I do is I hit uh, bring out the rulers bring out a guide into the middle showing the middle here now start with your pen tool um, to make things quicker you can just go ahead and hit P now with the pen tool come in here tie it on the dress uh, let's start with the line up top we'll start tracing this out um, kind of Drawing as we go. If you mess up, just hit Control Z. We just want to get the basic outline of the dress first, and uh, then we will kind of fine tune things later. That's that's what's great about this, working with uh, our curves here. So you want to try and use as minimal as least amount of points as possible, just just to make things easier. I'm going to fill this part in at the end. So once we get our basic shape here, we can go ahead and copy it over. So this is going to be basically a straight line to the sleeve. Um, let me get this. And then we're going to tweak this a little bit. Let me go ahead and draw in the belt once mm -hmm. I flip it over. So now that we've got uh, now that we've got the dress partially outlined. Let's go ahead and lock the back layer. I have to do this in the beginning so that way it's locked. That's not going to move. Now you can take this, what we've done, and use your reflect tool. Um, I have mine set up to be a quick key, so it makes it a little faster. Um, now we just basically copy it over using the option key. Now once you have this in place, let's go ahead and start connect. Oops, let's see, I forgot to copy. Um, let's try this again here. Hold Option when you go to drag it. That's going to help you copy. So it, it doesn't bring it over. It makes a copy. Okay, so let's uh, Command J to join. And let's get up here with the pen tool. Let's make uh, let's make this dress connect in the back. And bring this down. And okay, so let's draw this neck out. Let's see if we can draw it perfect. It's gonna. It's going to change a little bit, seeing that um, the center is right here. So, thanks for bearing with me. Let's get this in place like this. Now, I select this line with the white arrow, which is A. Um, so, use the white arrow, go to the selector, or just hit A. Select that part of the line, hit Command C and Command F to paste in place. Now that you have this in place, you can go ahead and use it to draw the neck. Um, and then we're just gonna, just gonna connect this in here. So now let's fine tune these handles. Okay, okay so those little details, and I'll come back to that. Um, we're going to go ahead and draw the belt. So hold shift as you go across. That way you'll keep your line um, perfectly straight across. Um, let's copy and paste in place. Let's move these both over just a hair. And then I'll, and we can join them by selecting the endpoints and hitting Command J. Same thing over here. Looks like our shape's a little big here, so let's reduce this with the option drag. Uh, option drag to reduce both sides. And let's go ahead and add in our. Let's go ahead and add in this line here. Let's show the shape of the dress. Let's make these a lighter stroke, prettier stroke. Back to point five. Um, let's go ahead and finish up the bottom of this dress. 
So we'll get to the end point here for pen tool. Go ahead and click on that last point. Swing this up. Make sure it's get the curve just right. Okay, pretty good. All right, now we're going to go ahead and uh, select that Apple C, then Apple F, paste in place. Now we're just going to drag this this version that we pasted. Actually, I have a better way to do this. Let's try that again. So Apple C, Apple F. Now let's hit. Um, if you do the menu, you go to path, and you go um, offset path. It's going to give us a dialog box. We want to offset this by let's try five pixels. The preview. Okay, well it needs to be a little bigger. So let's try six. All right. Let's set up. Done. Hit the plus key for the pen tool. Let's get into that. Okay, so now that we've got this shape, let's go ahead and add in these dotted lines which show that represent the stitching. You can just option drag this down and uh, do the same thing here, just drag that up. And it should have lined pretty well. Select both of these. This is going to be a dashed line. The best way to do it is hit the dashed line, or we could use a brush. Let's do a two point dash with a two point gap. And uh, maybe if we could get it up to like four point a little longer. And let's make this straight from the bow. All right, so it's coming together here. Let's um, draw a line right down the center. Oops. Solid line. Okay, so it looks like we've got everything we need here. Let's hit this thing and copy it. Let's just copy and paste this. Bring it over to the other side. And let's go ahead and join our corners. So, in case we have colored ones, be able to join that. Zipper. We could illustrate with some lines. All right, so now we can uh, toggle off our sketch. Let's go up in the product. Bye.